smartphone, whatever it is that's easier for you. Of course, if you're fancy, you can go fancier, right? You can use uh, an expensive camera, DSLR, whatever that uh, you me, want. Me, I like to keep it simple, so I'm either going to use my phone or I'm going to use my webcam because it's super, super easy. This video that you're going to shoot, you want it to be around 20 minutes total, okay? What I recommend is that you would create an outline and inside of your outline, break it down into five main pieces, okay? Then take each one of those five points and break that down into three to five points, okay? And you can continue to do that process until you get to the end, right? Uh, or until you get enough content that's going to keep you going for 20 minutes. So you can look at your outline, you can continue to talk through whatever it is that uh, your five points are going to be about, okay? So what you're going to do is shoot the video, all right, and just go through the, the five steps and the five different pieces that you want to cover. Now at the end, once you have the video and you upload it to YouTube, YouTube actually has a tool called the YouTube Video Editor that's free that's on the back end of YouTube that will allow you to, to edit videos, right? So you can take your 20 minute video, you can drag it inside the editor and you can chop that down into shorter videos based on each main point. Okay, so if you've got five main points inside of your video, what I would do is take the long video and chop that down into five short videos. Okay, so now you're going to have the long video on your, on your channel. That's not going to go away when you start editing. And then you're going to also have, have another five videos, right? So I'm, just gonna, I'm actually going to write it on the board because I just want to keep track of how many pieces of content this creates. So that's going to be six videos right there. I probably know you can't can't read that, but I'm gonna keep track of it. Okay, so once you've got your six videos, then what we can do is we can take that one long video, and there's services out there that will actually transcribe videos for you. Okay, obviously you could transcribe the video yourself. It would just take forever, and that uh, you probably have something like way better to do than um, to do that. So what I recommend is finding a service that would do that for you. They're all over the internet. Some of them even as cheap as five dollars. And when you get the transcription back, 20 minutes of text is pro or 20 minutes of uh, talking is probably going to be somewhere around um, 6,000 words, maybe more, 8,000 words, right? Typically, we're talking um, 250 words a minute or something like that. So that's going to be a pretty good transcription that comes back, all right? Now, you can take that transcription and either you can clean it up and uh, format it and stuff, because what we want to do is we want to turn that into a book, okay? We want to turn so that into like a giveaway we can put up on Amazon. So either you can take your time and go through and clean it up and create the sections and that kind of thing, or again, right, you can outsource that. There's probably somebody that will, uh, well, I know there are, there's people that will proofread, edit, create the cover, right? You can get all that done for like $25, maybe a little bit more. So, um, that's what I would do, okay? I would have the transcription and I would have that turned into an ebook. Now, with the ebook, you have a couple of options, okay? You can either um, you can either put on Amazon if you want to sell the ebook, okay? So if you want to use it to make money, um, also, of course, Amazon is a good positioning item, right? When you can say, by the way, I'm a published author, you can go see my book on Amazon. So I would put the book on Amazon there. You may have to have somebody format it, right? They have like their own little formatting things. I don't even know what those are. Okay, I just go pay somebody like $10, $15, whatever. Have them format your book so that it's ready to go on Amazon. And there's even people that will just upload it to Amazon for you. You don't even have to upload your own book. They'll go and make sure that it all gets done smoothly so you don't have to mess with that, okay? So now what you can do is you can either take that ebook and you can also put it on your website if you wanted to give it away for free okay so if you want to sell it sell it through Amazon if you want to give it away give it away through your like give it away give it away now like that through your website okay that way you can build your list and all that kind of thing it just it just depends what you want to do but the fact that you can shoot this 20 minute video and now you have a whole book right that you can give away or you can sell and you could do that as often as you want to repeat that process, okay? In my case, this is a 30-day process, so you could do that every single month, all right? Now, so now you've got an ebook, and uh, so you've got the ebook, 
and you've got uh, you've got the transcription. Man, this is like kind of ghetto the way I'm doing it here, but it's working. Okay, so so that's your first two pieces. Your next piece that you want to do is is you can create podcast episodes from the short videos. Okay, so there's a lot of different platforms out there today that you can podcast on. Uh, there's different different um, ways for you to get that set up and get going. Um, there's like Libsyn.com, Stitcher.com. You can self-host on WordPress. There's different plugins you can use for that, uh, like Blurberry and stuff like that. You can uh, use Blog Talk Radio. Okay, so the platform doesn't matter to me. It's just the fact that you're going to have this podcast episode out there. Okay, Some aren't going to take the time to read a blog post. If I write an article that's 800 words, that's going to take somebody, you know, whatever, right, five, seven minutes, whatever that's going to take them to read that. And some people just don't want to do that. They don't want to spend the time while they're sitting on their computer um, to read your blog. Whereas if they could listen to it, they might consume the content, right? It's just a different mentality of somebody that wants to listen to it versus reading it. So why not provide that? so that if somebody does want that option you have it there it also just gives you another piece of content online right so you could take each one of those short videos and here's a little trick is if you put SS at the beginning of YouTube it'll pull up a site where it lets you download the video right and there's other ways that you can download the audio and stuff straight off the videos so you can just pull the audio from that video and then you could turn that into a podcast episode that's gonna give you about five podcasts right there now you when you have that audio of course you can just use the raw audio there's also places that where you could have it cleaned up right you could have the audio mastered the volume uh, leveled out you could have an an intro or an outro or both created and added to your podcast to make it uh, more snappier right you can make it seem a little fancier so that's up to you okay either way that you want to do that that's I would spend the five dollars or the ten dollars to have somebody add the intros and outros, master the volume out, uh, just from a quality standpoint, people are going to appreciate that, right? You may get people that listen longer based on the fact that you have good audio. I know that when I use this Blue Yeti mic versus using the webcam microphone, that the audio is better and people listen to my videos longer, right? I figured that out after trial and error. So you want to think about that as well. With the blog post, or excuse me, with the podcasts. You can post those once a week, and you know I would do that on a consistent basis. So I would like every Monday or every Tuesday or whatever that is, I would have a new podcast episode that is posted on the podcast place where wherever you're going to host that, right? And uh, so that way you have content again. You have five podcast episodes that can go out. Really, this is like a five-week marketing plan, not just a 30-day plan. So let me add those up here to our board. All right, so you've got five podcasts. So now you've got uh, six videos, an ebook, a transcription, and five podcasts already uh, for your business. And, and you know, really just from that initial 20 minute video. Okay. So the next thing we're going to go into is uh, after we've got all that done there, is we're going to talk about a blogging plan. So with, with our website, we want to create articles. Uh, with this content in it on the site right you could go in and just write articles about the same kind of information but you pretty much already have that done since you got that transcription made so now you can take that transcription you could break that down in uh, down by each main point and then each main point can have its own blog article on your website within the blog article you can you know you can embed the YouTube video so you could either put the long video, uh, if you want to put the long video on all of them, and put the short video. You can put the podcast, right? You can either uh, embed that embed that audio so that it's right there inside of your article on your website. So it's real easy for somebody to listen to that. Or you can just link to your podcast, right? You got Every time you create a link, it's like creating a piece of a spider web. And we want to have the biggest possible spider web online to catch people. So make sure that you're linking all this stuff back together, right? That within the ebook, you know, you're linking to your website and stuff. Within 
the podcast you're linking to stuff the videos on YouTube can link over to the podcast so now that we're doing these articles on your website same thing right that article should be uh, linking to the YouTube videos linking to the podcast episodes linking to the ebook right link to the long video that's on YouTube and you can put those things also right inside of your inside of your blog especially if you're using a WordPress website which is what I recommend for everybody then it's super easy just to add the podcast and the videos inside of your article so that it's on your website content. okay no matter how they wanna if they wanna read it they can read it if they wanna listen to it they can do that or if they wanna watch a video they can do that so you're giving everybody every available option once you have the uh, you know those blogs done right same thing where with WordPress it makes it really simple to go in there one time one day and schedule out all the articles okay so you could go in there one day a week or one day a month and you could post the all these articles here that we're talking about from the transcription you could go ahead and schedule those out so that um, each article post out you know on a Wednesday or a Friday or Monday or whatever day of the week that you want to put your articles out just be consistent with it right so every week just have your blogs show up on the website at the same time that's again going to encourage um, subscribers because excuse me it's consistency right that's why TV shows play at the same time on the same channel the same day every single week it's consistency and you want to be uh, start getting that with your subscribers where they're used to you know every Monday Nick is gonna have a new blog every Tuesday Nick's gonna have a new video every Wednesday Nick's gonna have a new podcast every Thursday Nick's gonna have a new whatever right and so you can create that um, that theme within your marketing and, and this is all still stemming off of that initial 20 minute video that we just shot and, and put up on YouTube basically like what I'm doing right now so okay we've got all our blogs up now okay so let me write that that's gonna give us five blogs alright we're doing pretty good here so so far on our plan here which is really more like a five week plan we've got six videos on YouTube We've also got, uh, we can take five of those videos and put them on Facebook as well. So that really gives us 11 videos online, right? Uh, we've got the ebook that we can either give away or we can sell on Amazon. We've got the transcription that we were able to use to make the ebook and to make the blog articles. You've got the podcast episodes now that are on a podcast website somewhere and they're also uh, built into your own website on the blog articles and you've got the blogs okay so man, we're doing pretty good on, on on our coverage at this point so the only other thing that I can think that we could do is we could create presentations out of the information right so we could either um, watch each of the three minute videos and just from the main points that we make inside of that three minute video we could create a PowerPoint right so we could create a PowerPoint or create a Prezi or whatever thing that you use to create presentations today um, probably there's some other ones I don't I just don't know them I'm so old school and use PowerPoint when I have to so you can create PowerPoint and then that can be uploaded to again to your you know um, before you upload it save that as a PDF okay don't don't put that out on the internet as a PowerPoint make sure that you make it a PDF so that nothing could ever be changed on there okay without your permission um, once you have that as a PDF you could upload it to your website and there's also different presentation websites you could upload it to like slideshare.net or um, issue.com things like that right and again we want to link everything back together so we could take that pot you know within the slideshare within the presentation that we create we can have the links inside of